We begin this Sunday morning with the most serious allegations ever leveled at a president, and yet the mainstream media will not cover it. New information this morning on the extent of the Biden family's business deals with foreign nationals, while Joe was a sitting vice president, and the money that he has taken in. House Oversight Committee Chairman Congressman James Comer revealing that he has identified at least $10 million that the Biden family has taken in from foreign companies looking for inroads into America. Comer reporting that at least nine members of the Biden family received income from foreign sources with attempts made to conceal those large financial transactions through a web of LLCs or limited liability companies which accepted the wire transfers and then transferred them to Biden family members. Also, Chinese nationals were among those involved in hiding the source of the money. Chairman Comer also revealing that the Biden family received $1 million from a corrupt Romanian businessman, while then Vice President Biden pledged to clean up corruption in Romania. Despite the 36-page report laying out the details on how the Biden family operated its foreign business enterprise, the mainstream media either ignored or outright dismissed the story. Following the report's release on Wednesday, none of the three major news networks, ABC, CBS, or NBC, devoted a second to the story during their evening newscasts. Meanwhile, major news publications, instead of conducting investigative journalism into the Biden's business activities, they quickly brushed off the report, despite there being no actual product or business that House Republicans could identify as a reason for family members to be paid by these foreigners. Joining me right now with more is the House Oversight Committee Chairman, Congressman James Comer. Mr. Chairman, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. We would like to try to understand what, if anything, the Bidens were doing to be paid all of this money. Let's talk about the China Initiative. As soon as Joe Biden entered the White House when he started his term as president, he canceled what was the China Initiative, an initiative that happened under Trump and Secretary Pompeo. Did he, did he get paid for canceling the China initiative? Well, this is one of the policy decisions that Joe Biden made that makes no sense. Uh, the China initiative was an FBI operation that was investigating, aspiring in our colleges and universities, which just about every major university president in America would admit there's a problem. China sends students over here. Uh, they want to volunteer to be in our research and, and development programs and they steal our intellectual property and send it back to China. This has been happening for a decade. Every university president knows it. But when Joe Biden became president, one of the first things he did was cancel the China initiative because they said it was racially profiling these Chinese students in the United States. Now, why would he do something like that when every major company in America complains about China stealing our intellectual property? That's one of the biggest issues we have with China. And yet Joe Biden took China's side and put China first and America last. Now we find out his family received millions and millions of dollars from the Chinese Communist Party. It sure looks fishy to me, Maria. Well, I have been told that it's 600 to 800 billion dollars that corporations in America lose because of this, uh, this theft of intellectual property by the mm -hmm. Chinese Communist Party. So you're right. Corporate America has been outraged by the theft of intellectual property. But I want to get to something even more important potentially here. Year, and that is this cover-up. You have spoken with whistleblowers. You have spoken, you also spoke with an informant who gave you all of this information. Where is that informant today? Where are these whistleblowers? Well, unfortunately, uh, we can't track down the informant. Uh, we're hopeful that the informant is still there. The whistleblower knows the informant. The whistleblower is very credible. And all we're asking the FBI with respect to the Form 1023 is what did you do to investigate this allegation? And they send us back a very patronizing letter basically saying, just trust us and don't worry about it. I mean, this is a pattern of behavior by the FBI that would suggest there's been a cover up for many years with respect to the Biden influence peddling. And the media will try to defend Biden and say, well, influence peddling is a cottage industry in the United States. Well, first of all, it shouldn't be. And secondly, no president 
has ever been accused of the things that the Biden family has been accused of at a time when we have a country like China that's, that's a huge threat to our national security, not just, as I mentioned earlier, stealing all of our research and development intellectual property. They're also building up their military. They've got a cyber uh, attack unit that's superior to anything that we can defend against in the United States. A and they continue to buy industries all around the world that put America at risk. H hold on a second, Congressman. Did you just say that the whistleblower or the informant is now missing? Well, we, we're we hopeful that we can find the informant. Now, remember, these informants are, are kind of in the, the spy business, so uh, they don't make a habit of uh, being seen a lot or, or being high profile or anything like that. Uh, we have basic information with respect to what the informant has alleged, and it's very serious. It alleges uh, that Joe Biden, when he was vice president, was involved in a quid pro quo with a foreign country uh, in exchange for, for foreign aid. This is a very serious accusation. All the FBI has to do is say, yeah, we looked into it and, and it, it wasn't a credible informant. Are, but they won't answer our questions. Are there whistleblowers or informants missing right now? Well, with, with, with what we've investigated and the people that we've tracked down, uh, going back to the CEFC, uh, the two main players in that business, as well as all the Americans that were involved in the uh, different Biden uh, influence peddling schemes, as well as the Serbian national, uh, the nine of the 10 people uh, that we've identified that have very good knowledge with respect to the Bidens, they're, they're one of three things. Maria, they're either currently in court, they're currently in jail, or they're currently missing. So it's of the utmost importance that the FBI work with us to be able to try to identify uh, what research they've done, what investigations they've done, because we have people that want to come forward, but honestly, Maria, they fear for their lives. Not only are the Biden lawyers and the Biden White House intimidating them, the media is trying to intimidate and discredit them. And I think if you look at the Rasmussen poll, you know, seven in 10 Americans are very concerned that Joe Biden's involved in a, a public corruption scheme and they wanna know more information. Seven in 10 Americans strongly support the work that our House Oversight Committee is doing investigating the Biden influence peddling. And we just need to get some cooperation from uh, these different deep state bureaucracies that are standing in our way. Uh, this is absolutely extraordinary and it is stunning that some people are missing that you need to prove this. Uh, who in the White House is intimidating these people? Do you know? I do know. Uh, we're saving that for a later time. Uh, but I can tell you one thing that a lot of people don't know. When, when I issue a subpoena to a bank or to an individual, the second I issue that, Jamie Raskins gets that. And when we get information in from the bank or, or from any individual, they make two copies, one for the majority, which are the Republican, one for the minority, which are the Democrat. And my biggest problem with the Democrats on the House Oversight Committee is they're acting as a criminal defense attorney for the Biden family. Uh, not only are they not working with us, they're obstructing every step of the way. So the, the hurdles that our committee is having to overcome with the Democrats on the committee, uh, with the Biden big dollar uh, criminal defense attorneys, with the power of the White House, uh, with the Department of Justice, with the FBI. There are a lot of obstacles, but I think what we produced this week, this 38 page memorandum was pretty solid evidence that we've been able to accumulate showing that Joe Biden lied when he said his family never took money from China, showing that the media got it wrong when they said none of these payments were ever made while Joe Biden was in office, and then naming nine Biden family members that received money. None of this was ever known before. Uh, so we presented the media with something they weren't used to, especially when Adam Schiff was leading the investigations. We produced evidence. Yes, we, we know that. And we are trying to understand who specifically is intimidating these people and why are they missing? What are you going to do at this point? If the FBI says, we're not going to give you that document and you actually subpoena in it, what is your next step? What, what can you do? Well, we're gonna end up in court. And uh, I think we have a very compelling case in court. 
uh, to be able to win. But uh, that's the strategy from day one with these Biden attorneys. Uh, you look at even when the January 6th committee, which, you know, I don't consider a legitimate committee, but they had subpoena power. They subpoenaed a lot of people and it ended up in court. And, you know, the, the you know how slow the wheels of justice turn in America. So uh, we're going to end up in court. It's just very frustrating, and very disappointing that we're going to have to spend taxpayer dollars uh, in court to get information that we shouldn't have any trouble in the world getting from our government. Yeah, is there anything you can do to move this along quicker? You're going to have to file suit soon, We're going to move it soon, along right? as quick as we can. Yeah, well, that's the judicial branch of government. We're the legislative branch. We're, we're taking the executive branch to the judicial branch to try to get uh, information that we should have already received. Just stunning. A stunning breaking news story this morning uh, that some of these people now may be missing. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we're certainly going to be covering and reporting your findings. Thanks very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.